Dorothy Arzner was the only female director of Hollywood studio era. She was the first woman to join the Directors Guild and the first woman to direct a sound film. She made 20 films over the course of 24 years and was later a teacher to Francis Ford Coppola. Dorothy Arzner was also a lesbian and didn't hide it. She kept her hair short and wore suits or straight dresses instead of following trends of the time. Dorothy started out typing scripts before working her way up to editing, where she was noticed by director James Cruz, who used her as a writer and editor on several of his projects. As she wrote more scripts, her urge to direct grew, and she considered leaving Paramount for Columbia, where she was convinced she could get a good project to direct. But with Cruz as her advocate, she was given 1927's Fashions for Women as her first directing job. Paramount promoted her in the press as the first woman behind the megaphone in motion picture history. Her success with silent projects led to her directing Clara Bow in Paramount's first talking picture, The Wild Party. Dorothy is also credited with inventing the boom mic by attaching a microphone to a fishing rod in order to allow actors to move more freely. With experience in so many different areas, Dorothy oversaw the writing of scripts, directing of scenes, and the editing on her projects. Arzner is rumored to have had relationships with actresses like Billy Burke and Alan Azimova, but her longest lasting relationship was with choreographer Marion Morgan. Arzner abruptly retired from Hollywood in 1943. Some say she had major issues with MGM's Louis B. Mayer, but Arzner said, I went out with the big studio era. I wouldn't say that I left it, I think it left me also. After retirement, she taught at UCLA. She was also convinced to come out of retirement and film several Pepsi commercials for Joan Crawford. Dorothy Arzner and Marion Morgan lived together until Marion's death in 1971. Dorothy died eight years later at age 82.